Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with a haul from, um, excuse me, Big Lots and Walgreens. Mm, couldn't get that out for a second there. But um, I haven't been to my Big Lots in a while and um, they ha had, someone mentioned, I think it was, drawing a blank, drawing a blank. Oh my God, don't you hate when that happens? can't I'm drawing a blank but I've seen somebody do a haul recently from Big Lots and um, Nice Nails 2 and 9 I think and she had mentioned that they had a lot of polishes there which actually um, this time my Big Lots had a ton of polishes but a lot of them were sinful colors and which I have a ton of sinful colors and then they had a few Sephora by, by OPI OPI by Sephora or whatever Sephora by OPI and they were the colors that I didn't really want the ones that I passed on the last time they had a couple Maybelline color shows but it, they weren't like unique colors or colors that I just didn't have so I did pass on them I did only pick up two things of polish and because um, I just these colors just looked really stunning mainly the one which after I thought about it I have two of the same color but I can give it to my sister so these are my Revlon this is the one of the ones that I generally do purchase a lot of when I go to Big Lots or actually was it my friend um, Felicia who said she went to Big Lots I think it was my friend Felicia but anyway so the Revlon two packs they're two dollars so basically each polish is one dollar and this is a really nice like lilac purple this one is number 211 charming and this is the main color that i wanted this number 370 smoldering it is a metallic with like a dual chrome it's almost like you see like kind of like aqua greenish colors and i don't know if the purple is reflecting from the other polish so this other one also has smoldering in it as well and then um, this green is called sassy um, these were the only colors that they had. Well, they had another one that had smoldering again, but it was like a chartreuse type of metallic green, similar to this, but more of a chartreuse color. And it was a metallic, and I was like, mm, it was very similar to this color, and I know I have another metallic chartreuse color. So I was like, there was really no point, especially considering the other color was one that I already was picking up twice. So, and then they had a two-piece with the purple, the lilac color, and the green color. So, I just picked up these two. Again, trying to be good. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And that's all I got nail polish-wise. Well, yeah, from Big Lots. Well, I really didn't. The other things are some nail art kits that were on clearance at Walgreens. So, um, which was the other place that I went to. And I went to Walgreens only intending to pick up one thing and um, and possibly another depending on if they had any I'm still trying to track down that last polish from the um, wet n wild collection the mega last but they had these kits and I've been watching these waiting for them to go down this one is the Rock Beauty London kit and it contains some nail appliques, tweezers, a practice nail pop, um, I guess that's the nail stick, a three-way nail art pen, and three-way nail art pen with appliques. Mm. I went through this last time. So... I get, okay, so the eight appliques, which they should say something different, call them something different because these are just like, there are some stars, some little disc, um, some micro beads and kind of like shred, some like really nice like iridescent shred, holographic silver and gold stars. So these are the eight nail appliques. And then it also has the um, tweezers, which do come in handy. It's just a, this here, which you can't see, is just a nail stick with a nail up top and then the three-way pin. And this has some iridescent glitter in there. And this ended up only being $2.50, so I figured that was a good deal. And then also they had this Rock Beauty 
one. Um, they don't have like a, a name for which kind it is. Like, they, they don't have a name. That's what I'm saying. So this one includes, includes two designer nail wraps. Okay, a practice nail wheel, a velvet brush, a nail, one nail glue, mini nail rock file, one pair of tweezers, and three by three nail, three by three way nail art pen with appliques. So these are the nail wraps. You get two different, um, what do you call that? Two different um, designs. You get three three-way pins so it's got the brush polish brush the little pointy metal tip so you can do dotting or draw lines and then at the bottom this one has some bows made out of little pearls this one has like some half opalescent diamond type things and then the flocking powder down here and then your tweezers your velvet brush and then the file so, and this one was actually $3.76. So, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. And then, um, she gave me, that lady, I generally go to this one Walgreens right up the street. She's really, really nice. We have, like, little conversations about different products and stuff like that. And she always gives me free samples. Um, this time she gave me a moisturizer, um, a Dove shampoo and conditioner, um, set. I mean, who knows, it would be something, I don't know, save for the trip, you know, I don't know. But it could be used. And then, or my my husband could use it. The And I went to, again, went to Walgreens for one item, but um, they, I saw that they had uh, Maybelline products, almost all of them, not every single one, but a, the majority of them were 40% off and you got 3,000 points for your with the Walgreens rewards thing for every um, um, what was it for every $15 you spent of Maybelline products and then um, I believe I mentioned that Walgreens changed their beauty club card or comedic cosmetics loyalty program where they used to have the little paper card where you did the stamps and I think the reason why they stopped that was because no store did the loyalty card the same. Some people actually had a stamp with the Walgreens logo, some people wrote it in, put their initials, some people, I mean every card that I got from a different store or whenever they did something it was different it was confusing and it was frustrating so I'm glad they changed it but um, instead of filling up a card with 10 stamps and getting 15% off your entire order you actually get there's a coupon that is in the sales ad and basically you get 50 points for every dollar you spend within you know on cosmetics so I don't know which one is the better value and the other thing is the, um, that is a little bit annoying about the new way is okay if you are redeeming points you don't earn any points so like I had like a couple dollars of left on this to use but because I bought Maybelline products I was earning 9,000 points so if I would have used the two dollars of points that I had, I wouldn't have gotten the nine thousand points, or either. I think it would be yeah, I wouldn't have got the nine thousand points or the fifty points for every um, dollar spent. So that's the only thing that bothers me about the new program. But it's a little bit easier, I say, because you don't have to argue with all the different people about whether or not the stamp was notated correctly and if they were going to give you credit. So the main thing, sorry for that ramble, but the main thing I went to Walgreens for was to buy this, um, a curl enhancing, curl definition type of hair care products. Um, I have been thinking about this for a little while and I I'm pretty sure I've made my decision. I'm pretty sure that I am going to go. I'm going to go natural. Um, probably not until after I take my cruise or when I, after their wedding. Um, so, but 
what I wanted to do is see how what my curl pattern would look like you know in case for uh, you know like um, I've been watching a lot of people on YouTube and stuff like that following a lot of natural hair people to see different ways of styling your hair because since I've been working out um, I have to wash my hair more frequently because of all the sweat build up and the more product that I ha I'm putting on my hair because I am sweating and when you know the sweat dries it has naturally has salts in it so it dries out your hair so I've been having to put more product on my hair than I normally would when I wasn't working out so um I figured and plus that I don't know my hair's just been not growing and you know being as it was before so I figured maybe I need a break from the perms I've been getting perms since like late on in high school and um I've been out of high school for damn near 20 years now or yeah almost 20 years like 16 15 16 years and that's a lot long time to be using like a perm or whatever or any treatment chemical on your hair so I figured I would try to see what my hair would look like how my hair will curl up if um, I decided to when I decide to go natural how different ways I can wear my hair and if I can do like the wash and goes type of style so I'm gonna wash my hair using this and wow that was a really long segue to get to this but I'm sorry this is the they had a bunch of different products available um, like the curl defining like gel mousse and styling cream and all of that but the Shea Moisture one um, they're the only one that had like a little kit that I could try like I didn't want to buy like most of the jars were like eight or 12 ounces and they were like the I'm really pissed because the design essential ones smelled amazing and it looked more kind of like a gel type of one which for me seems like it would be lighter weight um but that was like 16.99 for an eight ounce jar the shea moisture of the coral enhancing smoothie was um i think only 9.99 but um I figured this was the they have the curl and shine kit with silk protein and meat neem oil so this is um, coconut and hibiscus and basically it comes with four different products they're you know like travel size four ounces so you get the curl and shine shampoo curl and style milk the hold and shine moisture mist and the curl enhancing smoothie and it just comes in a kit like this they have a quite a few different products hair um, baby products and bath and body products so I mean it's decent size the curl enhancing smoothie the style milk the um, cold and shine moisture mist which are pretty decent sizes and the shampoo so um, I'm gonna try that when I wash my hair today and see how my hair will look curly if it's something you know a way I would like to wear my hair because my hair is fairly thin and fine so you know just gotta see how it's gonna look and if I'm gonna be able to deal with that and um, so that was the main thing I went for and the rest of the products I got are pretty much I believe all Maybelline products except for one product I think is not Maybelline yeah there's one thing that's not and this is um, a Milani lipstick Milani has really amazing lipsticks this was the last one they had I heard about this color from the glam twin Z234 or something like that and um, they have they they're one of the natural hairstyle um, um, ladies that I follow um, and they have they talked about this I'm pretty sure this is the one naturally chic and the color is just a like nudie color I think they must have been wearing like a gloss because it looks really different here it looks very pinky I may I could have gotten the name wrong but we will see I will have to go watch another video but I love the Milani the Milani lipsticks and though the Milani, I believe, was like five and some change. Yeah, $5.79 for the lipstick. And they smell amazing. 
Now the rest um, was is Maybelline. Um, and since they were 40% off, I felt like I wanted to pick up some backups of some things and get some things that I have been wanting but didn't really want to pay full price for. The um, Fit Me Concealers, um, I have one of these already. And this one is number, I bought, picked up two. One to potentially use as a highlighter, like under eye or whatever. And then one as a backup concealer. So this is number 30. I'm pretty sure this is the concealer that I normally use. I couldn't remember the color. But I'm pretty sure it's number 30. Yeah, so number 30 is my regular one. I figured at 40%, why not back, get a backup? And then 35, which is weird because 35 looks lighter than, um, than 30. 35 is on the bottom. This one's 35 and this one's 30. Um, this one could be just because this one, because they have like it separated by, you know, deeper skin tones and then like fairer skin tones so this one could just be in the been in the wrong spot and those ended up being 449 each regular price 749 a piece and then um i've been into blush as you guys have seen lately and so i bought the master highlight so basically the highlighting by face studio the highlighting blush i bought two different ones um so these are regularly 9.99 and they were on sale for 5.99 so this one is a more pinky one this one is called pink rose and that's what that looks like i figured this one is one that i could you know wear now and even i don't know i even in the fall and winter but this one would be more of a you know kind of fall one this one is called mauve this one has deeper of course mauves and more bronze and um, like gold shimmer um, this one has more like pinks and rose golds and kind of that white shimmer in it and this one is the mauve one let me show you them so you can see the difference this is just deeper of course and then I picked up two lipsticks and two elixirs. And the elixirs that I got, this one is a purple or violet one called Vision and Violet number 040. As you know, I absolutely love my purple lips and this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Although I do have purple glosses. <laughs> I need to go through my stash, sort it and you know, and this other one is a orange, deeper orange. This one's number 015 called Mandarin Rapture. And I've been eyeing this one for a while, but just didn't pick it up because I did not want to pay the regular price of $9.49. And they were on sale for $5.69, which is cheapest that you will find these. I haven't seen them cheaper than that. And then the last two, I picked up some um, Maybelline Buffs lipsticks. I had to get a backup of my Touchable Taupe because that one is almost gone. So this is Touchable Taupe. And this one is number 940. And then this is one that I'm sure I do not have called Truffle Tees. I've been looking for it, but every time I go, they have been out of it. This is another nude, of course, and it's a more um, tanny nude, pinky brown. This actually looks very much like that L'Oreal color by Frida, and that's that one there. The L'Oreal Privé collection, it looks a lot very similar to that one. So that one is looks very nice. It's amazing how it looks so much different. It's more pinky toned on the skin than it looks like it would be. Because um, I didn't think I would be able to pull this one off until I seen someone with it and did swatches. So that is everything. And well, those came out to be um, four sixty seven a piece, and they were originally seven seventy nine. 
so um really glad that I got to stock up on those there weren't many other lip colors that I I saw that were different or unique from what I already have so that's why I didn't pick up more um, I got the blush I've got more than enough foundation and things like that so uh, and of course I got more than enough you know nail polish and and all that good stuff so I just tried to be I tried to contain myself but you know I could only you know which I end up spending more than I anticipated like 70 80 bucks might as well say but I gained um, like 9,700 points which let's see So, I was just shy of earning 12,000 points if I had bought like probably one more Maybelline item. Oh, and the curl, the Shea Moisture Kit was $20.99 for all for for the set, which I figured was a good price as opposed to spending $10 individually on each product, considering most of the products that I wanted to try to use were like $6.99 to $10 actually or $10 or up even higher than that so that's everything that I got let me know if you've tried any of these especially this um, the Shea Moisture um, products because I'm very very interested to see what you think did it work well um, specifically um, did you find it heavy because the smoothie stuff um, I think it's kind of is more of a cream whereas like I said the design essentials um, product was more of a gel and god their stuff it smells so amazing but I'm like I'm not gonna pay $16.99 for a four ounce jar especially when I'm just trying something out to see how I like it so yeah so that's everything that I got leave your comments below thanks for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye